Andrew, as you mentioned, better than expected results for the second quarter from Delta Airlines, a loss of $1.07 per share, well ahead of what the street was expecting, which was a loss of $1.38. Revenue better than expected, and they were pre-tax profitable in the month of June. More importantly, that's what they're expecting for all of Q3 and the second half of this year. Let's bring in Ed Bastian, CEO of Delta Airlines. I don't want to focus too much on Q2 because we all know uh, what the results were and that the industry is coming back. But as you were looking at the quarter and as it played out, what was the acceleration like within the last month? Let's say June. Is that really where you saw it kick in? I'd say in the last 60 days, we're into a full recovery of our business led by the U.S. consumer. Uh, demand is robust. In fact, U.S. consumer travel is at, if not even beyond, the levels that we saw in 2019. We're working on business. Business is coming back. International is a little choppy. But as you said, we were able to take what had been a series of fairly large losses. We've been losing for the last several quarters about $3 billion a quarter, down to a loss of less than $900 million. And in the third quarter, we're expecting to be solidly profitable and stay profitable, which really, I think, is the, is the main data point of this quarter when you talk about the inflection point. To say that we're going to be profitable and free cash flow po positive as well in the quarter, just a year removed from the worst crisis our industry has ever seen. I think it's a remarkable testament to the resilience of our business and our people. You're seeing all of domestic leisure travel back to 2019 levels right now. On the corporate side, we're still down, what, about 55, 60 percent, so to speak? Right. So if you look at uh, domestic travel for corporates, in the month of March, it was only about 20 percent. You get to June, the month of June, it was about 40 percent, so doubled over the last 90 days. We expect another 20-point climb again in the third quarter, so the month of September. As Labor Day comes, as businesses continue to reopen, we expect uh, September to be about 60 percent of normal, and then we'll continue to grow from there. Last time we were here, you mentioned that you had some corporate clients coming in, and you were going to be having some conversations with them. Where is the hesitancy, if you will, in terms of corporate travel right now? It's coming back, but there's still some hesitancy there. And is any of this permanently lost for the industry because of people doing Zoom calls, et cetera? I, I don't think there's much hesitancy. I really think it's a, pr a practical matter just getting offices open. Uh, we still have many of our big corporations. Their offices are still closed. People are still working from home. When we surveyed our customers as of last week, over 95% of them tell us that they will be open and back in their offices no later than the end of this year. I think that's going to be the big catalyst because people that are, travel on business need some place to go. If we weren't here operating, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't have traveled down to see me this morning. So we need that to happen. And I think after Labor Day, we're going to see another significant increase in office reopenings. And then secondly, obviously, international needs to reopen as well. We'll talk about international in a bit, but I have to ask you about the Delta variant. As we see these surges around the country, is that pulling back any demand at all? Or is this a case where it's sort of accepted to a certain extent in this country that you're going to see this in different parts of the country? We haven't seen any impact at all from the variants. Uh, it, when we, we monitor our bookings, we have pretty good visibility 60 to 90 days out as the news of the, of the variants spreading. We haven't seen any slowdown at all, any downtick in bookings. People are ready to go. Uh, the vaccines work. Uh, we have 72 percent of our Delta people vaccinated and they're continuing to grow. When we survey our customers, the vast majority of them are telling us they're vaccinated. So we're learning to live with this. Joe's got a question. I got one last one, though, on international. How optimistic are you that you will see the EU and the U.S., I should say, lifting the restrictions on people coming from the EU? There's plenty of Americans going over to Europe. It's the Europeans coming over here that's being restricted right now. How optimistic are you that that'll be changing? I, I wish I could tell you, but I just don't know. And it's been a source of frustration for many of us. We've been lobbying. We've been talking to the White House. We've been giving them more science as to the safety of travel at the vaccination rates. Unfortunately, the White House isn't ready to release and open our borders yet between the, the U.K. as well as the E.U. Uh, Americans can go that are vaccinated almost anywhere you want in Europe except to the U.K. And uh, we think there should be reciprocity back in turn. So our business, until we get full transfer of, uh, of, uh, of travel back and forth between our continents, we're going to still be limited internationally. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.